In this video, we'll look at solving an exponential word problem using guess and check. So suppose the population of rabbits in an area is starting at 352 and they grow at a rate of 9% per year. Part A, write an equation for this situation. Well, if you know me, you know I don't like as much the formula a times b to the power of x. I prefer using y equals start times change to the power of x. That's my general formula for an exponential, especially when I'm doing a word problem. And now I'm going to calculate, well, I don't have to do much calculating. The start is just 352, same as if it was a, but I think it's easier to see there. But I'm going to have to figure out what the change is. Down here, I'll maybe show my work. The change is 100% of the rabbits plus 9%. Some of you might ask, what happens if some of the rabbits die? We assume that this growth rate takes into account that some are dying and some are being born, but overall they're growing at 9%, which means each year there's 109% of what there was last year. Convert that to a decimal by dividing by 100 or shift the decimal over 2. 109% is the same as 1.09. And that's how I get this 1.09 in the equation here. y equals 352 times 1.09 to the power of x. Great, well we've got our equation. Trickier though is when will there be 10,000 rabbits? This is the video title, Solving by Guess and Check. So I like to write try and you inform the reader, here's what I'm going to try. I don't know what the x is going to be yet, so I'll make a sort of random guess. Partly educated. I know it's not going to be 1, right? So that If I sub in a 1 here, it's not going to go up by very much. So let's try x equals 10. And I get y equals 352 times 1.09 to the power of 10, which equals to approximately, I don't know, but my calculator will tell me. I always recommend punching in the exponent part first. Some calculators can handle the order of operations, some can't. 1.09 to the power of 10 equals times 352. And I'm going to round to the nearest rabbit, because rabbits are, well, animals. And so you can't really have half a rabbit and it still be a living rabbit. But notice I'm way short of 10,000. I went up a fair bit, but not enough. So I'm going to need to try a bigger number. Let's see what happens when I try x equals, I'm going to go much bigger, x equals 30. Notice the communication here of x equals and a colon, and then here's what I'm doing. I'm subbing in 30 into this equation. I write out my work, and I'm going to put a rounding dot for good measure. All right, 1.09 to the power of 30 equals times 352, and I get, ah, a lot closer, 4,670 rabbits, approximately. Students ask me, how many choices do I have to show? Do I have to show all the guesses I did? You don't have to show them all, but at least show the two closest. As we get closer, what should I try next? Hmm, go up a little bigger. How about x equals 40? you got to show at least the two guesses, one above, one below. That's what I look for. So let's try y equals... You might have made more guesses than this, so you're allowed to try them on your calculator and not write them all out. I'm showing you all my work. y equals 1.09 to the power of 40 times 352. Okay, I'm over 10,000 now, so I'm a little bit too big. 30 was still a lot too small, but 40 is a bit too big. I ran to the nearest rabbit. A little less than 40. I don't think it's going to be close to the 30 side. Just looking at this number and looking at this is what I got from 40. This is what I got from 30. I think it's going to be closer to the 40 side. So let's try x equals, say, 37. y equals. Again, I'm showing my work every time, even though it's the same equation. Show the reader what you're doing. Don't forget the rounding dot. 1.09, the power of 37 equals times 352. 
537 rabbits. Each time I've had to round down. That's interesting. Just coincidentally, all my guesses have been round down. Well, it's between 37 and 40. So again, to the question of how many guesses do I have to show, I have to show the closest I can get below 10,000 and the closest I can get above, above 10,000, and I know it's between there. So what's my next guess? Uh, I'll try x equals 39, maybe, and see what I get there. y equals 352 times 1.09 to the power of 39 which will be rounded 1.09 to the power of 39 equals times 352. Again, a round down, but I notice I'm over 10,000 still. 10,143. So now I know it's between 37 and 39, but for full marks you got to get one above, one below, the closest you can get, and I can still try x equals 38, and c is that above or below 10,000? I don't know yet, let's find out. y equals 352 times 1.09 to the power of 38. Put a rounding dot. I always do the exponent stuff first. Some calculators you don't have to, but why chance it? Do the order of operations. Nine, ah, finally a round up. 9,300 and 5.7, so round to the nearest rabbit is 9,306. So, I showed you all my work, but on a test, you'd have to show me at least these two. If you want to guess and check on your calculator first till you get closer, that's fine, but you need to at least show the closest whole number below 10,000 and the closest whole number above 10,000. And now your therefore statement. What was the question? When will there be 10,000 rabbits? Answer. There will be 10,000 rabbits in 38 to 39 years. And we've done it. We solved an exponential word problem using guess and check. We first wrote an equation for the situation, and then we did guess and check until we got close. You absolutely have to show at least two guesses, the one whole number closest but below, and the other whole number closest but above the target you're looking for. And that's it.